Good morning, Rams. Today is Thursday, September 9th. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The library would like to thank all of the 13 students who participated in the book and art contest. All of your work was amazing. In fact, all participants need to stop by the library to pick up a thank you gift brought to you by the DECA store. Staff and students, please come up to the library and check out the astonishing art. Now here's the announcements you've been waiting for. Receiving second place is Tiana Pinnock and the first place award goes to Camila Care. Congratulations, girls. Attention seniors, current National Honor Society members will be having our monthly NHS meeting in the courtyard after school on Thursday, September 9th. Please look uh, uh, for us in the middle of the courtyard and be sure to bring a phone or Chromebook to ac access the presentation. Questions? Please send a message through the NHS Google Classroom page. Attention juniors, eligible students will receive invitations in your English class this week. Please follow the directions on your letter. Newly invited students, this meeting is not for you. Esports will be starting up this Friday, 9 through 10, meeting Fine Arts 103 from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. If you're interested in representing our school in Rocket League, League of Legends, or Smite, we would love to see you then. Boys Basketball Open Gym begins in October. To participate in the Open Gym, you must complete the paperwork listed on the RRHS Athletics page. If you have any questions, contact Coach Salada in the gym before or after school or in Science 101, periods 2 through 6. Go Rams! Breaking news. Friday's football game has been canceled due to Clovis pulling out of the game. Unfortunately, Friday's game is canceled. Attention club sponsors. The homecoming carnival is coming. The carnival is happening during an extended A and B lunch on Wednesday, September 29th. Carnival is a fun day for students and staff to enjoy themselves and explore the various games and activities different clubs will host in the courtyard. We want you and your clubs and sports to host a booth. We have sent out a form to in staff emails. If you are interested in getting your club or sport there, sign up on the Google form before September 19th. We hope to see you there. September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month and St. Jude Children's Hospital provides care for children with cancer and other illnesses at no cost to the families. So to support children with cancer and this great charity, the Varsity Cheer Team will be hosting events at lunch once a week throughout the month to raise money. The PSAT will be administered on Wednesday, October 13th to all sophomore students. There is no fee for 10th grade students for this test since this is a mandatory exam. For all classes of 2024 students, juniors, do you know that you should also take the PSAT and MSQT in 11th grade, even if you already took the test in a previous year? The PSAT and MSQT provide several benefits, including the opportunity to compete for scholarships. Eligible juniors will be automatically entered into a scholarship and recognition competitions. These competitions include the prestigious National Merit Scholarship Program. Scholarships not only help you pay for college, but they can also help you stand apart from other students in the college administration's process. On average, students who take the PSAT and MSQT score higher on the SAT than those who don't. Any junior wanting to take the PSAT must sign up online no later than Friday, September 24th and submit an $18 free made payable to Rio Rancho High School. Only checks or money, money orders payable to the Rio Rancho High School are accepted. The registration link is located on the Rio Rancho High School website. For more information, see your counselor in the 11th grade office. It's Think About It Thursday. 
Which one came first, orange the color or orange the fruit? That's a great question. 